Hello and welcome to the 20th tutorial in the JavaScript Basics series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the for in loop. This tutorial seems you've done tutorial 2. If you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So what is a for in loop? Well what a for loop is, what, which is what we covered in the previous tutorial, is a loop that allows you to execute a blogger code multiple times and a for in loop basically allows you to loop through the properties of a particular object. So it's pretty cool instead of if you have an object that's got five properties, instead of writing five lines of code for example to access each property of the object, you can loop through them. So let's just go and open up a text data. Then open up the files from tutorial 2. Okie dokie, what we're going to do is going to get rid of this for now. And to do a for in loop, you just do for. Uh, actually, first of all, we need to just create some variables. We're just going to do var text equals, we're going to make equal nothing. So it's just an empty string object. Then var person equal. We're going to create a new custom object. We're going to put first name. And we're going to put Bruce Wayne. Oh, and I'll just put Bruce. Obviously, that's his first name. And his last name. I'm going to put Wayne. Location. We're going to put Gotham City. And finally, awesomeness. We're going to put a thousand. So to loop through all of the properties of this object, all you need to do is do for open close bracket curly braces, and in here you do just create a new variable, so var x for example, in person. That's literally it. So basically, every time this for loop iterates, every time it does it, x will be equal to one of these properties. First, it'll be first name, then last name, then location, and then awesomeness, which is like really, really cool. And then what we'll do is do text equals text plus person x. So there we go. And if we simply just open up it in a web browser, actually first of all, we'll just alert text so you can actually see it working. There we go, we've got Bruce Wayne Gotham City 1, I mean, City 1000. It's printed out all the properties, but we've only wrote this one line of code to actually access them, and but we've used a for in loop, which is really cool. So if you just want to access properties of an object, you can just do it using a for in loop. That's it for the for in loop. If you have any questions, feel free to message us. In the next tutorial, we're going to do the while loop. If you need any other source code, it'll be in the description via links, and as usual, thanks for watching.